New at 6 Lexington police say three people are recovering in the hospital tonight after a shooting. Officers say it happened just after 9 last night on Virginia Drive. They say they found three gunshot victims who were later taken to the hospital. So far, there is no word on their conditions. Police say the investigation is ongoing, but we will provide you both on air and online with those updates. In Burlington, police are still searching for a missing 14 year old. Officers say Christian Benjamin was last seen around 630 last night on Ken Ross Drive. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, black pants and black shoes. Anyone with information on where he could be is asked to call the Burlington Police Department. A man is facing life in prison without the possibility of parole after being found guilty of a 2021 murder in Winston-Salem. The victim's body still has not been found. Investigators say back in May of 2021, Damien Quitero Morrison lured Isaiah Mitchell to his home after a disagreement with an acquaintance and shot him. They say he went on to dispose of Mitchell's body and belongings in remote locations. Quiterio Morrison then fled the country, but was arrested four months later at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Also new tonight, we've learned a man from Western North Carolina will be sentenced in May for his actions during the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. 36 year old Alan Michael St. Ong, who's from Rutherford, was arrested this past June. Thursday, he pleaded guilty to two felony counts of civil disorder. The Justice Department says he and several others clashed with police in the Lower West Terrace Tunnel, the site of some of the most violent attacks that day. To date, the DOJ has charged more than 1,200 people for crimes tied to the Capitol attack. And Winston-Salem Fire Department says a dog is now safe after being stuck in a well. Here's video from the fire department. Firefighters say the well was located on Old Salisbury Road. They say the dog was in the well for about an hour yesterday afternoon, but is now safe and sound. 